Hello everyone. Welcome back to the nursery. Guys, I was just bringing on the uh, Quentin, a.k.a. the Crier, a.k.a. Solomon. <laughs> I was letting his mama see him to make sure this is the color hair she was wanting on him before I go any further. Um, it took a long time to get to where I'm at here. So, I'm just going to let her see before I go on. And this is his hair, Mama. And you can see how far I've come with it. See where I'm going into his crown right there? And I'm going to do some more on him this evening. I just wanted to let you see him and see how he's doing. And, uh, yeah, just, you know, I want everybody to be happy with everything they get, guys, from me. I was trying to find my little brush, but I don't know where it's at. I can't find it. But, uh, yeah, so I, I just wanted to, this is still where I wet it. See, so on this human hair, it sticks up a little bit, so I, I give it a good spritz of detangler, and then it just lays right down. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Wow. Beautiful. And, Mom, it is so very, very soft. I put detangler on it. You would not believe how much softer it is than when I put it in. It's wonderful. But there it is. That's, I'm doing him in human hair, guys. And that's what I've got done so far, Mom. Now, it's taking me a lot longer on him, so this is what I was telling her the other day to please, you know, the one to please be patient. Uh, for me now, I don't know about anybody else, but for me, this human hair takes me a lot longer. And this is what I'm doing it in. This right here. See this? I just leave it hanging on there. What I done was when I first got this, I, I washed this and I conditioned it. Real good conditioner, a real heavy duty uh, conditioner that people use like for when you've um, colored your hair real heavy duty conditioner but i washed it really well in some uh shampoo that's for colored hair because i didn't want to take any of the pretty color out of it if it didn't need it and uh then i conditioned it really well and then i hung it up here to dry and that's where it stays and i just come through and like i'll i'll cut me off a piece like here and then see i can take that then and cut that in like three pieces i wet. up i use this and this and then this at the top and I'll have three pieces the reason I do the uh, some people didn't know that you washed and done the hair guys it's not that it's dirty or anything like that when you get it it's been washed and all that but I do that just to make sure none of that dye the color is still left in the hair you know because if it if it is it'll, it'll come up on your vinyl and it will stain it and you won't be able to get it out the stain so that's the reason I do that but there it is that's the hair and here is the sweet little baby. I think he's going to be really pretty. Now, I've not trimmed it other than you can see this is long here. I won't trim it a whole lot more, but I've not trimmed it. it, it other than just the raw ends of it, I've trimmed off to keep them from getting really just tangled. And, you know, how it get all mushed up and everything. So, but yeah, it's laying, you can see. It's laying down really well, behaving itself really well. I really like this. It's turning out great. Um, so I wanted her to see that. I wanted you to see my little snuggle baby guys. Reason I haven't put her together. I am having a problem with her guys. Uh, I thought I wouldn't have to regroup the hair, but let, let me show you what's going on here. See where I've painted her? Well, then look here where she didn't have a lot of paint. And I didn't think about it at the time because of course I couldn't paint over the hair. You know, it was already here, but, but see, see the difference in the color and you can see it underneath the hair. See that? It looks like she's got a tan here. Her face and her head's white. And it, and the hair was, it's a light color, so it's not dark enough to cover that up and take care of that. So, guys, I brushed the hair off, so I thought the hair was okay. I brushed it out when I first got her, and just wads of the hair just came out. So, what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to go ahead and take that hair out completely take it out strip all this off every bit of it off and start over because uh there's no way i'm going to get it to match here up here you know it's going to be too noticeable right there on the face uh, if i do that so i'm gonna have to wind up taking her hair out that's the reason i haven't put her together or anything she was ready to put it together so i thought on that cuddle body but then after i got her uh painted you can see see she didn't have much paint on her, and that's what happened. And this is just really white. 
when I painted her her color, you can see the difference. It left this up here real white underneath the hair. Well, there's no way of me painting that other than just pulling that hair out. Well, I don't really pull it out, guys. What I do is I put, uh, like, thinner or whatever on the inside of the head and let it get that glue that's in there holding that hair all, which I don't think there's much because when I combed it, I combed out wads of it. So, uh, but I get that glue um, in there all, you know, to where it'll come out and then you can just take and pull on it a little bit and it'll come out. It just dissolves that glue in there is what it does, the thinner. So, that's what I'm going to have to do with her. I'm really disappointed, guys. I thought I would get out of root in this one. But, don't think so. Going to have to root her. So, I wanted you guys to see and know why I haven't put her together yet. But, this is about the crier. So, I wanted his mom to see him. There he is, mama. I hope you're happy. You're going to be happy with that hair. I just wanted you to see. Okay, guys. That's it. Um... Uh, the Genia Sleep, uh, I done, I done her, you, you remember yesterday in the other video, I turned her into the boy, put her the boy clothes on, she was sold, guys, so she is sold, um, yeah, and, uh, but I'm gonna be working on a, a few more, I've got a, a Sky Awake painted and ready for hair, but I've just been busy doing this other, I got, today, I was working on all day today, I was working on, um, let me think, the Heather from Bountiful Baby. I think she's going to be my giveaway baby. Not sure yet, guys. Maybe, possibly. Uh, she had painted hair, and I decided to do the applied hair on her. So, I'm, I've been working on that all day. Uh, other than I took out a little bit of time and finished off my little preemie silicone eyelashes. That's all I liked on her. They're setting. And uh, as quick as I get done, I'll, maybe by tomorrow I can bring her on and show you her. I got her finished up. And then I'm working on applying the hair on the Heather. It's the Heather Sculpt from Bountiful Baby. And I may go ahead and do that as a giveaway. Now, guys, I had that as a giveaway when I first started the Heather Sculpt. And uh, I put it up, you know, at first, right at the very first, I put up, you know, subscribe to me, 1,000 subscribers, you know. Uh, you'll be entered into the giveaway because when I first started I thought I'd climb a way faster uh, You know, I figured it'd be quick Well, I was wrong. It's took me a year now and I'm still not at a thousand And so that was a year ago. So I took the thing off and I'm gonna reload it. I'm redoing her hair um, And putting her on applied hair over the painted. I just left the painted hair on. I'm just doing the applied hair over the top of it and uh, yeah, so I'm thinking that is still going to be my giveaway, baby, at a 1,000 subscribers, but I've got to do the official video when I get her done. Now, guys, this is not the official video for you to comment on. I don't have it up yet. I want to get her finished before I, and then I'll put her up, I'll show you, and then, you know, I, that'll be my video, the official giveaway video. Uh, I need something to help get me on over the hump, guys, to a 1,000 subscribers. I think I'm at, uh, last I checked, it was 8.55, so I only like like 145 more. So that, but it's not moving very fast. Just here, one here and there. So I may do that to get me on over that thousand mark hump. And uh, I probably will. Now, I was looking back in here. And I don't know, maybe you can see. It's not, his hair's not going to be super thick. I may go back and put in some more. I'm not for sure. I'll look and see how I think when I get it all finished. And then if I think it needs a little bit more hair, I'll go back and give him a little bit more here and there. But it's kind of thin back in here, but I'm not sure if it is up in here or if it's just back in there. Might just be right back in here. I might just need to put a little bit more hair in there. But he's looking good. You can see. Now, uh, this is the color hair she was wanting. And she was wanting it straight. I've been looking at that picture she sent me. And I'm thinking this is a very good match. And when I get it done, it'll, it'll match it real well. Uh, the picture she sent, how she wanted him. So, anyway, there's your baby mom. Uh, I guess that's it, guys. I'll have up some more babies for sale. If you need a another baby done, a custom baby, just message me, and I'll leave some links below, and we can go over the particulars on it, you know, the uh, the price and the payment. I do carry layaway, so the payment plan and all that stuff. So, I got several that's thinking about a baby. I've got one lady that is wanting a, uh, 
a tink, I believe, is what she told me. And uh, we're kind of waiting on her. She's got to get her check and everything like that, guys, to do the deposit. And that's what I told her, you know, uh, that's one reason I, there's a couple of reasons I asked for a deposit is to, one thing is to ensure me that the whoever orders the baby will take it. Because, guys, I had some incidents with that in the past. I didn't charge at first a deposit. And then I would just take out of pocket and buy everything, which is not cheap for me. And uh, I take it out of pocket, and then people would say, "Oh, well, something's come up. I don't want the baby." And uh, see, then it was just out of pocket for me. Well, it'd be my responsibility. Then I would have to wind up selling that baby, and usually at a great loss, money-wise, just to get my money back. I really didn't even get paid nothing for my work. Just try to get my money back, you know. And so I said, "No more of that." So that's one reason. And then another reason is, guys, that just helps me to buy the supplies. So that that's the other reason that I do it. You know, I take that first deposit, and that's what I buy the supplies with, and as far as as much as I can. And um, then as people the people pay me, then I, if I need any more, you know, but like the next month they'll pay me a payment, and then I'll put that money into it. You know, and then see I don't get paid until uh you know that baby gets pretty well finished. So, yeah, so that's how that works. But. Yeah, I've got her. Then I got another lady that she was moving. And she has her own kit. She's just going to send it for me, I think, to paint and root. I have another lady that is wanting uh, a rooting job, I think, done. Maybe, possibly. And, um, yeah. And I don't know. There's been several message me, but nothing's come through yet. But if you need anything, you know, you just message me. And we'll get together on it. Uh I have to do them, guys. It's first come, first serve, you know. Um, that's just the way it works. I mean, when I get to your baby, it may be a couple of months before I can even get to it. It is depending on how many I got ahead of you. But, uh, you know, I just take it as first come, first serve, and I do, excuse me, I do one baby, and then I get it out, and I do another baby. A lot of times I'll be working on two babies at one time because I'll have, like, two uh, customers that comes in around the same time. So, uh, but you know, it just takes time and you have to take your time with it and everything. So anyway, guys, I'm going to let you go. That's it. Have a great rest of the day on Saturday. And, uh, I guess that's all. So I appreciate each and every one of you. And thank you so much for watching my videos and supporting my channel. And I'll see you soon in a new video. Bye-bye.